biomimicry is bio being life, mimicry to imitate. It's this process of nature-inspired design. For most of human existence, we always mimicked nature. That was just how we survived. And we lost it somewhere along the way. Is there any way we should go back to nature and look at how it's been maintaining things for hundreds of thousands of years, rather than our methods, which don't seem to be working? What can we learn from those designs that can help us solve the same problems? What is biomimicry? That's our starting point. Why should we even consider using it in the curriculum? We're really excited about this program because we think it's a unique approach to STEM education that's touching on a lot of the essential science and 21st century skills. It's really engaging to kids. Kids love learning about animals, about plants. Teachers actually have a reason to take them outside to design lessons around learning about the functions of plants and animals. And that becomes the foundation for a design to solve a local problem that is affecting climate change. It's a win-win all the way around. One of the greatest moments in my life is sharing time outside with my four-year-old daughter and finding that biomimicry is actually a connection point between the two of us where we can go on a hike and I can see her get lost in just discovering the world around her and then connect those points of nature back to stories about cars, trains, and all the other things that she's interested in. There's a huge ripple effect that happens when you teach an educator anything because they are gonna reach hundreds of kids and every sequential year thereafter. Teaching and incorporating biomimicry is such a vital thing because it captures the imagination and it also contextualizes why the world around us is so important. If we can look to and learn from the wisdom of nature, we can find all kinds of solutions that we never before imagined possible.